see some balloons. Oh, I'm very excited. How are you guys all doing? How are you all doing? Yay, cool. So um, have you met these guys yet? Is anyone here queued up already? And yeah, hands up. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get them out, okay, and get them ready. Okay, so I want you to give the hugest, hugest round of applause for Sophia Lillis, Wyatt Olive, and Jaden Martell. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? I'm saying hi again, we've just seen each other. <laughs> hi again, you guys. So you're at Comic Con, obviously, and when you do when you're filming and for months and months on end, and then you're doing the press tours and then you come here, how does it feel to actually meet the fans? Oh, a little overwhelming, but uh, <laughs> I, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really nice to see everyone. It's uh, it always surprises me every time by the amount of people that like, come to this and um, come here to just to see us. I feel like it's uh, I'm really grateful for that. And what kind of things have you done in London so far then since you've been here? Uh, well, we've taken like the tube around and we uh, we've seen a lot of sights. The first day we went to the Tate and that was really cool. Um, yesterday we stopped at like South Kensington and we saw that. I forgot what the museum there is called, but it's huge, and uh, we just walked around in there for a while. But uh, yeah, we've been meeting some fans on the street every now and then, just taking taking some pictures. I don't think anyone's recognized you. No, no one's recognized me. <laughs> it was very funny. Like, like throughout all of them, they always passed right by me, and, <laughs> and I was, I felt like at some point someone was going to ask me, "Hey, can you take a picture? <laughs> can you take a picture of me with them?" But uh, no, I thought it was more funny than sad. <laughs> what kind of, um, you know, having started these films now, you know, and it is like It Chapter One, Chapter Two, such big films, and, you know, the book, and then we have the 90s miniseries. What kind of things have, do you get asked the most, you know, after you start these films? What do people ask you all the time? What kind of questions do you get asked? They always, um, they always ask me, uh, if uh, I was wearing platforms during the shooting because uh, they see me and they always like are shocked by how small I am. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like in the second one, I actually did have to wear platforms because everyone else grew enormously <laughs> and I was the only one who hasn't changed at all. So yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Compared to them, I look 12, and it's uh, maybe that's why people didn't recognize me on the street. Who's this small child? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> standing next to these tall people. And what about you guys? What do you get asked the most? Um, for press, for the first one, everyone kept asking us who we wanted to be, uh, who, want, who we wanted to play our older selves. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's a lot of, did you read the book? Did you watch the miniseries? Um, I'm curious about that actually because I guess as an actor, you know, maybe reading the book might be more helpful than maybe watching the miniseries because it might taint the performance. So, did, did you go back and read the book and watch the miniseries or did you decide to choose one or the other? I watched the miniseries. Um, I didn't read the book because I, I think it, it really is a separate um, story. Obviously, it takes from both of those things so um, but I think we don't want to uh, draw too much inspiration from that and get stuck in our heads and uh, overthink it mm -hmm. well, what about you guys did you, did you avoid the 90s miniseries uh, uh, we actually we did watch a bit of the miniseries um, after the premiere of the first it uh, remember that we were it was right before we were in Oh, was it right before? We were in the room and we just turned on the TV and it was kind of a coincidence the, <laughs> the miniseries was on and um, so we watched quite a bit of it but it was, <laughs> it's really long and it's so is the book. 
And so props to you guys for reading the whole thing. I, I attempted um, in the beginning, and I thought, oh, yeah, well, I don't want to taint my yeah. uh, acting thing. And then once I, <laughs> once I was done, I looked back at the book, and uh, it's just very intimidating overall. I'm still trying. I'm attempting to get through. I mean, it's a really good book. It's just really long. And the 90s miniseries is kind of cheesy. <laughs> Like I don't like it's, I've got I remember watching it when I was a kid. Um, it's particularly the scene with Pennywise coming out the toilet, and I was like, oh, and I just wouldn't go to the bathroom after that. I was like, oh my god, it's so scary. Um, but I just remember being, it was just watching it again. I watched it in the last couple of years. It's over. It's just kind of a bit cheesy. Like, I mean, what did did you think the same thing, or were you just like, oh, it's of the time? It's what it is. Yeah, it's definitely of the time, but it is kind of crazy how. Um, like everyone told me when I when I found out that I was gonna do this, everyone was like, oh, "I have a fear of clowns because of the original miniseries or because of the book," and then um, so now we get to scare a whole new generation, and uh, it's interesting. And what about your bond on screen? So it's no it is no surprise if we go look at your social media and I've read a million interviews with all you guys. Like clearly, you got on really well. But what were your first impressions? So you're like, ah. <laughs> what were your first impressions, though, of when you met each other? Particularly you three sitting here now. Compared to now, what you know, like, what were, how does that differ? So I think the first time everyone really met each other was at the chemistry read that I didn't attend. Um, when I, <laughs> thanks. Um, the first time I met everyone was in Toronto. I had already known Jeremy because we'd done a project before, so it was kind of comforting to have someone on a new project. But I don't really remember my first impressions. I remember because the first time I met you was in a car. You were in the back seat. And yeah, that's true. And <laughs> you, you were saying like, yeah, I can't wait to, you like ditched your graduation, your eighth grade graduation, so yeah. you can go hang out with a bunch of boys for the summer. Um, yeah, like that. that's what you said. <laughs> Uh, sorry, that sounded bad. Um, Jane and I don't really remember. <laughs> Probably best to keep it. I remember. Okay. I remember everything. Cool. No, but um, we had to do these exercises mm -hmm. to kind of uh, get comfortable with, with each other. Um, I remember staring into Sophia's eyes for a minute straight. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, but it worked. And we became pretty close after that. Was, that. that was the first thing we did. Yeah. Our first interaction. Was first that. interaction was staring into each other's eyes. For um, a whole minute. And then yeah. we did a lot of like impro improv and um, uh, like other trust falls. acting. Yeah, trust falls. Um, so like we were, we did like a rapid get to know each other sort of thing and then became close right away. Yeah, one of the, one of the scenes we did was um, someone was trapped in like a box, like an invisible box, and we we had to like say goodbye to them. <laughs> it was really weird. It was really weird, and like I remember like someone was like, "No, I'll switch places with you," and then they switched places. <laughs> that's that's, that's all, all you remember. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. All the stuff that we did, I still can't make sense of it now. I don't. I don't know. I guess it helped. It worked really It well. works. I mean, um, Is there I, part of you inside, though? I know as actors you have to do things like that sometimes, and there's uncomfortable situations you have to, to face. Uh, but is, is there part of you inside sometimes that goes, this is really bloody cringy? This is, I'm a bit like, oh my god. It's, it, it makes you go, I'm a bit embarrassed. Do you still get that? Yeah. <laughs> Not... You, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen when you're acting because you, you want to believe in the thing that you're making. But um, yeah, doing those exercises was so strange. And I think the best way to um, become close to someone is when you're put into an awkward situation. And um, I thought you were going to say is the best way is to stare into someone's eyes yeah, for like a minute. That too. <laughs> that too. Yeah, that works, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, if, if I think even though it was kind of, uh, it was a little, I guess, embarrassing, and we did, it was the first time meeting each other, and we had to do it again, every, like, every day for a week or two weeks or so, mm -hmm. so if we do, like, if it was something like, 
incredibly embarrassing. We're going to see each other again tomorrow. I mean, we have to. It's our job. So um, I guess in that way, we kind of, we were also, this is, I think, our also one of our, I was my first uh, big studio film, so this is kind of my first new experience. So it was really fun uh, doing that with people of my age, and I feel like that really uh, uh, helped me uh, get along with the guys. Now, you probably get asked a lot about Bill Skarsgård, plays Pennywise in these films. Can you tell us something about him, though, that no one else would guess? Can you tell us something about Bill that no one else would guess or know? Uh, um, I feel like I put you on the spot here. Are some of Bill Skarsgård's secrets. <laughs> well, what is he like? Um, he's very nice. I guess you, you, you wouldn't really get that from the film. Um, so that counts <laughs> as an answer. Um, no, but he is very... It is really interesting talking to him when he's in his makeup and he's not in character and he'll ask you how your day is, and it'd be really sweet, um, but he's still a six-foot clown um, with a giant head, so it's a little freaky. Um, I don't know if we know anything um, all I really truly about remember him. is that he's incredibly tall. <laughs> that's all I remember is his height. Um, that isn't a secret. I don't, I, <laughs> guys, you need to step every game you're right. I don't know anything. Do you? Um, no, okay. <laughs> The, in chapter two, we've got your adult counterparts, right? So, did you speak to them a lot before? Because the, we're doing it the opposite way around, I guess, with chapter two. Usually, you know, you might learn from the older actors, but they had to learn from you. Did you hang out with them a lot, speak to them a lot before you started? And what were your impressions? Uh, do, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we did talk a lot. Um, I personally conversed a lot with uh, Jessica because I, she really, it felt really strange her asking for advice on a role when she's Jessica and I'm, well, I, I, that was, I mean, You created I don't know. that role. It was, yeah. it was very strange kind of giving advice to Jessica Chastain. So uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I just said, you go do, you, you, you're going to do great. Don't worry. And she did. So. Um, yeah, no, it was very strange, but uh, we did talk a lot together about um, the role and um, uh, what we thought about the character and kind of what uh, steps she should take and um, basically who she is. So, um, yeah, and she was really sweet uh, all throughout. So, uh, yeah. What about you guys? Yeah, we actually all, um, all wrote a letter in our characters to our older self and then gave it to them before they, um, they shot a scene together. So that was really interesting. And that was another thing that I felt odd doing, that it felt weird and unnatural because we were told to do it. Yeah. But then when I did it, I was having so much fun because I was learning about my own character uh, just by writing, writing about him or writing in the perspective uh, of him. So it was really interesting experience and kind of talking about the pain that um, that that Bill Denbro has gone through and the guilt from uh, uh, losing his brother. So interesting, yeah. Because yeah, usually you're, you know, that feels quite real actually to write a letter. Did you guys do the same and wrote letters to your characters? What was in your letters? Um, mine didn't really have anything too specific. It was mostly just like keeping track of your friends and making sure that everyone sticks together. I mean, I didn't really have, I mean, I gave advice to Andy Bean, but I didn't really have much to give to him considering his screen time, but um, <laughs> he, he was really, uh, he was, in my opinion, he was really, he, what he did with the role was really great and just the little subtleties with the little time he had. And um, yeah, I just, I think he looks a lot like me as well, which is slightly scary, but you know, he's a, he's a great guy, so hopefully I turn out like him someday. <laughs> I hope to be Andy Bean when I grow up, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be just like Andy Bean. Um, Who doesn't? Sophia, um, you mentioned that you get a lot of these roles where, you know, we've seen, you know, it, it, uh, your character comes from a dysfunctional background, 
and you get a lot of these roles where you're, you know, you have sort of dysfunctionality in the family and that kind of thing. Um, what do you learn from these roles when you're taking them on, like, and how do you research for them? Um, well, um, I really like these roles generally because I feel like they're the most interesting. I feel like um, um, if it's something that other people are kind of hesitant or doing, I feel like I feel like I should um, be the one to take this, uh, do that job because I feel like it's. I feel like I can learn a lot, and I can learn not only about the character but myself, and kind of not only learn about the character uh, then, but actually a real person who's actually going through what she's going through, mm -hmm. and I can learn more about people and learn kind of and become more self-aware and um, and I feel like by learning these jobs doing these jobs I do feel a lot of pressure because I really want to do it right um, but at the same time I feel like um, it's uh, necessary just to talk to a lot of people and kind of uh, learn from other people's experiences and with that I can take those and use that in my acting um, and take advice from other people. So that's kind of how I do it, and uh, hopefully it works out well. <laughs> you don't want to just like be in a rom-com next or you something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that would be fun to do, but I really enjoy the roles that uh, that I've been doing because I feel like they're just they're the most interesting to do, and they're the most real. Because uh, I know rom-coms are are great, and I love them, but. Uh, um, they're not really the most, like, <laughs> you can't be like, oh, yeah, I've been in that exact situation before, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not the most real as, uh, um, as the ones I'm looking for. Absolutely. Um, Jane, I had a question for you about Bill Murray, because you work with Bill and St. Vincent, and Sophia, you're a big Bill Murray fan, yeah? Y yes. <laughs> I love Bill Murray. Um, tell me, I just have a general question because he's such a legend. What is he like? What was he like to work with? Um, first off, terrifying. Um, what? He, Why was he terrifying? Because he's Bill Murray. Um, <laughs> and uh, St. Vincent was my first ever movie and I was 10 years old. And I didn't even know if I wanted to be an actor. And I got this chance and they flew me out to New York, and um, so I was so excited and so nervous that, um, you know, I was just constantly so scared to be around him, but, you know, he taught me so much, and he's so, um, he's very sweet and generous, like sometimes he'll call my mom and um, say hello, and um, he's very real, and he's hilarious, and he's crazy, and he'll do whatever he wants on set, because, <laughs> because he's Bill Murray, so, um, you know, I couldn't imagine a better um, uh, first-time partner in acting, acting-wise. Uh, you're making me love him even more now, I love Bill Murray. Uh, Wyatt, like, complete change of pace, Wyatt, I you know you've got a YouTube channel, and I spent the last three days watching almost all of your videos on <laughs> YouTube. I know them inside out now. I love your unboxings. <laughs> I'm really you. jealous about your unboxings, yes. Tell me, what's the best thing that you have unboxed? Or when you got it, you were like, oh my god. Like, what was your favorite unboxing? OK. Uh, <laughs> is it, do you want like a, a, a public, um, like uh, one that I already have on my channel, or just like in general, like Christmas or anything? Oh, oh, tell me about the channel. What was your favorite one for the channel? I have like three. Um, <laughs> I think my most recent one was pretty exciting. Uh, I've kind of been wanting to do something with Nintendo at like at all, and um, they finally sent me a box. <laughs> and um, I had been I had made an unboxing video, and I was like, yeah, I'll make a video on it. And so that was fun to edit and just to do. Uh, yeah. How like what is your with the YouTube channel? Because there's all sorts of stuff up there. Do you just kind of think? Right, I, like, I saw like a TED talk as well, uh, which I loved. <laughs> Very, I would go, I would pay him good money to watch your TED talk. Thank you. Like seriously, do you just kind of think about it and go, right, okay, I'm just gonna make this video now. Let's just do it. Uh, yeah, my um, my video ideas don't really. Uh, there's not really a process for them. I just think about something, and if I'm like, oh, that'll make a good video, I just upload it, um, or I make it and then I upload it. But that TED talk one, for example, that one was just me and Jack, and we were, I think that was during when we were filming It too. 
and we were in like the Hilton Inn or something, and Jack and I just like were like improvising, and we we're like, yeah, let's just do TED Talks, and that was one of them. And I have a couple other ones, and I was gonna upload them, but then I didn't because I, I didn't want to. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just that's about my, that's my content. I was in I was in a Wyatt YouTube video, wasn't I? It's true. Yep. Yep. You've yeah you've appeared in a Wyatt YouTube video as well. I spent. I mean, my husband was like, "What are you watching?" I was like, "Research." It's fine. I really enjoyed. The, I have subscribed, by the way. I Thank you. I subbed as well. Thank um, you. I've got uh, just final question before we go into a few games, and then we're going to um, ask the fans if they've got any questions. Um, since we're at Comic Con, and this is the home of the nerd, um, and you know, a safe space, a good place for all geeks, what would you say is the nerdiest thing about each one of you? Uh, I am a nerd in multiple ways. <laughs> Um, an omni nerd. An omni nerd, exactly. Anime. Shout out to anime. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Comic books. Um, video games. League of Legends. <laughs> Too much anime. An all-encompassing nerd. Yes. Exactly. And what about you, Sophia? Uh, I'm not too much of a nerd. I don't think. Um, <laughs> uh, not compared to uh, both of these guys. Um, uh, I, I, I'm fine. I, I like all types of things. <laughs> I don't know. She I likes just, anime too. I, I okay, love, guys. Yeah. She's too embarrassed, but no, no, we I'm all not. also played Nancy Drew, so that's pretty nerdy. That's how is that nerdy? Fist bump. I, I don't understand. Good work. Oh, why? We know you love video games, but anything um, else? I'm wearing NES socks, oh so my God. if that tells you anything, that's about it. Um, yes, we had an extreme close-up of the socks just there. Yeah, yes. those are my socks. <laughs> um, I, I'm also, I stream on Twitch from time to time, or I, I try to stream a lot. I just got <coughs> partnered on Twitch, so that, that's cool. Um, I, same, pretty much the same thing as Jaden. Um, I play a lot of games. I built my own PC, so that's, that's pretty nerdy, I guess. That's what I love at Comic Con. You can be a nerd, an all-encompassing all nerd. I used to, when I was younger, my nerdiest thing was I like comics and stuff, but I collected like we went to like Scottish heritage sites, and I collected like pencils and pens. That's how much of a saddle I was when I was a kid. <laughs> like, still have them as well. So I'm gonna go on to some fan questions that were sent to me online first, because I put a call out for questions. This one's from uh, Kate Dot May on Instagram. She said, if the losers had a pet mascot, what would it be? Yes, Gilbert. 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 Yes. Yeah. Gilbert doesn't no get applause. a round of applause. Can we have a round of applause for Gilbert? <laughs> You've made Gilbert happy. Thank yes. you. I'll put him, put him next to you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next, uh, we've got Mitchell FC28. Um, if you um, read the book, uh, were there any scenes in it that were not in the movie that you would have liked to have performed? Next question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Smart. <Sorry>. Okay. <laughs> Instagram. Okay, so we're going to go on to the Instagram deep dive. I made an image for this. Look at the look at my Photoshop skills, Whoa. you guys. Oh, wow. That's you under. Thanks. I got like three rounds of applause, thanks. So Instagram deep dive. Okay, so My neck like what we're gonna do here is <laughs> I delve like deep rock. into your Instagrams and we're just gonna talk about the, the pictures. So Sophia, Sophia's pictures first. Let's get that up. It's on the side screens here. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. So this was a gift from director Andy Machete, right? Yes. Um, and you mentioned in it that he's the best karaoke singer in the world. Yeah. Can you explain that, please? Um, okay. Um, I, I, I've never seen anyone passionate about karaoke before. Uh, I didn't never know that it, everyone, someone could be such a big karaoke fan until I met Andy. Um, and um, uh, I feel like that was the first outing with Andy ever. We had dinner, and um, then he said, oh, let's go do karaoke. And I've, I haven't done karaoke in such a long time. And um, I, I joined because I couldn't say no to the director. And I was very, 
I was very uh, uh, intimidated by the uh, his energy during um, <laughs> Was karaoke. he intense? Was he it was in very intense. <laughs> it was very loud and, and, and a lot of hand motions involved and he's always tries to get you to sing along with him and, and I, I'm not really a generally a, a singer. Um, <laughs> Definitely not a singer, um, but uh, that was my first time ever singing, actually, going to karaoke. I always just sit in the back, and hopefully they forget that I'm there. Um, Did but you not change that your time. opinion? Did uh, you? Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I sang along, not well and not loudly, but I sang along. <laughs> I, I contributed. I did, I did my part. Um, you guys did a lot. Um, oh, okay. Jack did a lot. Um, <laughs> there was nothing worse than when you're thrust into like, the it karaoke was, limelight. You're like, seriously, man? Seriously? It was something else, I gotta say. And that was not the first time, not the last time we went to karaoke, that's for oh, sure. No. Okay, so if you see Sophia, just don't ask her to sing. Yes. Um, Jaden. Okay, we've got a picture here, Jaden. I really like this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Love that picture. Thank you. That so sense. now, you know, you're my, my segue from this picture <laughs> was now that you're sort of being thrust into the limelight with these movies, uh, what kind of messages do you receive? Do you receive any loving messages? Uh, any crazy Valentine's messages? Um, yeah, a lot of interesting messages. Um, I don't know if I want to touch on any in particular. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. But like a lot of people will DM my mother, for example, say asking for my hand in marriage, um, a lot of personal questions. That's fun. It's interesting. I, sometimes I like to browse through and see what's going on in there and see if anyone's saying in, anything interesting or if anyone's cute. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just check it out from afar. Uh, Wyatt, we've got Wyatt's image. What? Is that what? There you are. Oh, look, you look very young there. This is next to, you're right next to Chris Pratt. Uh -huh. Now, I have a question. My little segue jumping off point here is if you could star in any Marvel movie, which would it be? Apart from this one, obviously, because you've been in Guardians of the Galaxy, any other Marvel movie? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I. I I'm obviously a big fan, not biased, I'm a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, just that yep. uh, that side of the universe, but I, I, I think probably, that's so cliche, but like Spider-Man probably, I feel like that role is, um, seems really fun to play, and just like that, you know, that kid, and just that kid in that big universe is such like an interesting role, and I think that's why so many people gravitate to him still, and even from like the, from when he was like first made in, you know, the early 1900s. <laughs> early 1900s, no. Um, <laughs> back when he was made, you know, he still, he still is a hit even now. And um, yeah, just that character is so iconic. So it'd be an honor to play it. Well, I love Spider-Man. I'd love that. I think you'd be very good as well. Um, okay, so let's go to the final game and let's get people queuing up for fan questions in preparation. There should be a mic here. And there should be a mic here, and if, you want, if you've got a question, get to the mics now. No, 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 no. Right. The right hand side's always really keen. So let's play this game very quickly. It's called Fear or Cheer. Look at this, my Ooh. Photoshop skills again. Oh, Check yeah. that out, you guys. Very proud of these Photoshop skills. Now, what I want you to do is, you're gonna see, I'm gonna read out the, the, the scary things or non-scary things, and I just want you to say fear or cheer. That's it, okay? okay. So let's have picture number one. The future. Uh, fear. Fear. fear? Uh, uh, Cheer. Cheer. Fear. Okay, bananas. Next. Oh. Finn is scared of bananas, everybody. Finn Wolfhard. True. Terrified of bananas. One time I chased him around with one. <laughs> really? Uh, that's so a fact. What about he you got guys? Really angry. Fear or cheer? <laughs> cheer. Uh, cheer. 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 Uh, okay, next. Sharing your feelings. That is a cheer. Cheer? That's a fear. Sorry. Fear. Oh, okay. What about you, Sophia? Fear. Fear. Oh. F okay, next one. Flying. 
It's like Neither. Yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, afraid of flying. Really. Yeah. No. It's like eight hour flight. It's not a cheer like, anymore, though, at this point. It's just a meh. Going to London. Uh, yeah, LA to London is not a fun flight. Well, it's kind of cheer. I mean, it's definitely not fear, though. I'd say it's kind of cheer because it's like. You're, I don't know, for me it feels like whenever I go in like a plane, I'm like disconnected from the rest of the world, so it's like kind of like this weird uh, purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big cheer for me. I'm going to think about that next time on a flight and go, yeah. purgatory, right? Okay, yeah. next, yeah. next question. Uh, death. Are you what? scared of death? Fear or cheer? Quickly, guys. Just fear. 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 Okay, next one. Mice and rats. Cheer. Fear. 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 Okay, what cheer. Cheer. Okay, next one, birds. Pigeons. Pigeons. Uh, 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 I'm giving you all kinds of facts, but Jack is afraid of birds. <laughs> no, 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 pigeons specifically. Pigeons. Dirty pigeons. Yeah, yeah. But look at them with their pointy cheer. beaks and their beady eyes. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, that's cheer. a cheer. Yeah, I'm a cheer? Give up, I okay. give them a fist bump. Next one, confrontation. Cheer. Cheer. Ooh. On, wait, on which side? Like, you have to confront someone. Oh. Confronting's fun sometimes. Cheer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Confronting's fun? Yeah. How? In what way? <laughs> Microphone. Oh, sorry. Uh, I say uh, fear. Okay. Next one. It. Pe Tim Curry's It. The old Cheer. 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 And cheer. the next one after this. Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise. Fear or cheer? Cheer. Cheer. Thank you for making our movie so scary. Thank <laughs> you, Bill. Cheer. Thanks, you guys. Now let's <laughs> let's do fan questions. Yay. Yes. Right. Okay. Now let's start with this lovely lady over here. Who have you got a question for? Hello. Yeah, I've got a get general question. Uh, when you guys first heard "Missing You" from Chosen, what was your reaction? Um, we're so proud of him. He's so talented. Uh, uh yeah, that was Chosen saying hello. <laughs> From the other side. Um, yeah, we love Chosen. Can we go to this lovely lady over here? Because um, you've been saying about how everyone's scared of clowns now, what's your biggest fear? Like a, a hotel hallway. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Your turn. Well, oh, it's my turn? Does that? Uh, okay. Uh, what, what am I afraid of? I'm afraid of uh, a lot of things. I'm afraid of driving. I'm terrified of driving. <laughs> Cheer. Cheer, yeah. Cheer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of, uh, like, salt water, drowning in salt water. Oh. That's, so specific. That's very specific. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay, this gentleman, for, uh, this lady here. It... If there is going to be a It chapter th um, three, will you be in it? Doubt it. <laughs> I'm being honest, I, we're, we, we're a little too old. I, th I don't think the de-aging technology is going to work in a couple years. Yeah, that's true. They can try. They can try. Yeah. They can really <laughs> attempt, but probably not. Um, I mean, I would like to be, if, I don't know if there could be another chat, like a chapter three, because I think it's over. It's over. It's done. The book's over. I mean, they could try. They can um, try. <laughs> but uh, if so, then um, I would like to be contributed in some way if there was ever a possibility. But um, yeah. I mean, any excuse to work with everyone, uh, everyone again exactly, is, uh, yeah. is, an, uh, is a welcome opportunity. Thank you very Thank much you. for your question. You. Yes, lovely. Go on. Hi. Um, I was going to ask, are you guys immune to horror films now, or would you still find them scary? Still terrifying. Um, but honestly, I think after doing a horror film, I appreciated them more. Um, before, I was too scared to even attempt to watch them. Now they're perfect. Oh, I, I, I never knew that I uh, would be a fan of horror films until after it. Because um, I felt like after I, I did it, um, I wouldn't just like not watch horror films anymore. I feel like it opened up a whole new world to me, and just uh, so um, I'm trying to. I I'm act I really do like horror films a lot, um, and I can't think of anything. <laughs> but I I really like. Um, I really want to see uh, um, movies like uh, what's what's a recent. Uh, There's Midsummer that came out, and I never watched that. But uh, what? 
a hereditary, um, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'll still always be scared of them, but like Jaden said, I'll continue to respect the craft, and knowing how they're made is a really important factor, and just knowing how to craft those scares is really cool, and seeing them in action is awesome, so. Yeah. Thank you very much for your question. You. Over here, I wanted you that you made an amazing job in both the movies. So thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. That. Uh, then I wanted to ask you, being a little bit nerdy, you said, have you ever thought about doing some cosplay and how it's like to see someone cosplay as your own character? Maybe have you, if you have met them. That's a good, good question. question. Yeah. Um, I have dressed up as a character from Naruto for Halloween. Oh. Uh, and um, and I used to dress up as Batman every day when I was younger, okay. just for no reason. Um, and it is very cool to see people dressed up as yourself. It's kind of surreal, um, you know, so, it, someone else being in the clothes that you wore for however many months and became you became close to this character, and other people can relate to it and dress up. Um, it's kind of kind of awesome. Yeah, I love it. Um, I personally have never done it. I've gone to, uh, I've gone to things with my friends, and my friends are big cosplayers, so they do that a lot. And I, I'm always that one person who was a little too late to the whole cosplay thing, so I'm just there with them. But uh, um, it seems like a lot of fun, and everyone seems to have a lot of fun doing it. So um, I love uh, seeing other people cosplay as, as Beverly. I feel like it's amazing, and um, um, I feel so happy that people uh, uh, liked my character enough to, uh, to actually cosplay as it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, does Halloween count? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, okay. Um, well. I'm always usually like late to Halloween, like I'll always forget to make a costume and then just like make one last minute and it's never good. Um, this year I wanted to go as Solid Snake and I don't know if I have the time because this whole week I've been gone from home, so I haven't really been able to uh, confirm if I have anything for the costume, so we'll see what happens. Thank you so much. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Over this side. Oh, can't, can't hear her. What was the most awkward scene for you to film? Awkward scene. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I guess it was, it was a little, I guess it was a little awkward uh, because um, it was, yeah, it was a little awkward, but uh, <laughs> we got past it. Um, I feel like the first take was a little strange but after like the 40, 40th, it was 40. <laughs> 40th take, it was uh, more mundane. It, like we got used to it after a while. So yeah, I guess that was a little awkward. Um, the blood scene for me was a little awkward because it was kind of hard to move. Um, and I was in, um, it was more uncomfortable than awkward. Because I couldn't move, um, it was hard to walk around the room because it was slippery, and I was already drenched in the first place, so. Um. Cool, thank you very much for your question, and let's go back over here. I'm um, not gonna lie, it's probably a pretty loaded question, but um, if you could go back to like the beginning when you walked into the audition, your first audition, uh, like up until like the premiere of the second one, what would be the one thing that you could change that you did? Oh, one thing you would change. I'd say nothing. I mean, whatever I did in there that got me the part, I'm super grateful for. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I wouldn't change anything because I don't want the, the outcome to be any different. But you guys, same, same answer? Or? Yeah, definitely wouldn't change um, what we have. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move over to the side of the room on the right Thank hand you. side. Hi there. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, so Stephen King, master of horror. What was it? What was it like meeting him? What What could he tell you about the role and the story? Never met him. Never met him. Never met him. He was in the second film. Yep. Not yeah. in that scene. Not on set. Yeah, we were not a part of that scene. Apparently, we weren't. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So you've never yeah. met him? No, we've never nope. met him. I feel really never sad. Never exchanged an email or a text? No. No. 
Well, thank you very much for your question. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, sir. What would you like to ask? Hi, guys. So, It Chapter 2 is kind of interesting because it's both like a sequel and obviously like a reboot. So, this question is sort of like, it's very similar to a game. Um, you guys are obviously like, um, have said that you're quite nerdy. So, is there anything in like pop culture, it's sort of like a three parter that you want a sequel to? a reboot to, and one that you think should be avoided. Like, personally for me, like, Back to the Future should just be untouched. But is there anything for, like, you guys? Good question. Hmm. <laughs> I think what should be avoided is something like the Goonies. I feel like you can't recreate something special like that or, like, Stand By Me. Yeah, I feel like the movies that we, uh, that I, that I grew up with, I wouldn't want to see done again because it's something that I've, I've grown up with. So I would like to see references in new movies, like referencing the m movies that I enjoyed, but I don't want people to make like, yeah, another um, Back to the Future or another Labyrinth or another Never Ending Story. It would be kind of like, uh, I mean, actually, never mind. I would like to see another Never Ending Story, but besides that, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, it, it's, it's an interesting question considering we are a part of a reboot and, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, like you said, but, uh, you know, I think a lot of people rightfully just don't trust the, the industry. Um, they, they've done a lot of reboots, a lot of remakes, and a lot of them just haven't lived up to what they, uh, what they were in people's pat, like in people's memories and their nostalgia. And so... Um, when we were first taking on it, it was a daunting task because I remember the first image of Pennywise that was revealed. No one liked it. They were like, "He looks stupid. He looks like a doll," and like that. That was. We we were kind of like, "Okay, this is a good start," but you know, I mean, it, I think the movie did well. I don't know, yeah. but just you know, sometimes you have to put that trust in because Andy Muschietti, he is so dedicated to this franchise, to it. He grew up with it, so it's like. Of course, he wants to make it again because he wants to give it his own sense of justice. So, yeah. That doesn't answer the question. Thank you very That's much. That's a hard question. Sorry, we didn't really. It's a good question. It's like, so good to hear. And I think it chapter two and one definitely lived up to the hype. You guys oh, did really thank you. It. Thank you. Cool and good answers. Okay, lovely leader here. Hello. Um, since you worked with Finn, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering if you ever watched uh, Stranger Things. If you were a fan of it. Of yeah. What's Stranger Things? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. Uh, it, it came out right in the middle of filming it, so um, everyone came back from the weekend on Monday, uh, and everyone had seen Stranger Things. So it was kind of interesting to see, um, you know, the the you know normal Finn or like Finn before that, and then all of a sudden, everyone recognized him on the streets, and it was just really interesting change, and uh, yeah, obviously we love the show, and he's very, yeah, it, w it was really exciting to watch it, and it had similar vibes, um, similar 80s nostalgic vibes as it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, for everyone, we love supporting each other's projects, so um, Finn, again, for example, he... <laughs> He invited me to the Adams Family premiere, um, and like that was like a fun experience, just to like, you know, see what everyone's working on and just support them in any way. And oftentimes we're actually like up against each other in auditions and roles, so um, just making sure that we always stay connected and um, support each other is really important. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Okay, over here. Um, so away from like your own movies, what's your favorite film? Oh, favorite film, you guys. Apart from your own, <laughs> go for it. Um, and I'm, I love Martin Scorsese, so um, I, I'm gonna have to say one of my favorite movies of all time is Goodfellas. And then I like, you know, other gangster movies like Godfather and um, uh, Casino. Good choice. Good. Goodfellas are amazing. What about you guys? Favorite movies? Okay. Um, well, I have a lot of favorite movies, so I'll just do some from this year. Um, I'd say my top is probably Parasite. I saw that really recently, and that was 
a very outstanding film. Um, I don't know if it's out here or not. Like, I don't really know. But it, it was a really good movie. And my second favorite is probably Jojo Rabbit. And I saw those within a span of, like, uh, uh, like under a week. So it was, uh, it was a good time. Um, oh, man, I can't really think of... Because I, I like so many movies. But I, I really do like... Uh, like uh, Whit, Stillman, uh, Whit Stillman, I love Whit Stillman, and I love Wes Anderson, and I watch all of his films uh, all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, I also really love Miyazaki films, and I enjoy those a lot. So uh, yeah, I like those those specific directors. Uh, anything if they ever come out with something, I will watch it in an instant. Good choice. What's your favorite movie? What was that? Okay, we can't hear you. Oh, the microphone's not on. Oh, no. Come on. Yell Come it. Here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come on. Take my hands. If you don't say there it, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite movie? Well, I'm only 10, so I can only watch, like, movies my own age, but um, probably Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It. Now, guys, that's the end of the panel. I would just like to thank you three for being absolutely delightful. Gilbert also thanks you. Thank He's you, the Gilbert. new mascot of the Losers Club. There you go, little Gilbert there. Um, guys, you're here all weekend signing things and taking photos, so. Please come and say hello to those guys, all right? Can we have a big round of applause to, for Wyatt, Sophia, and Jaden? Everyone, more, come on, Thank you. Come on, yes! Thank you, guys.